A present day everyone. Welcome once again to our uh, discussion for today. So we'll continue our uh, discussions on the derivative of transcendental functions. And now our focus is about the derivative of trigonometric function. Right, so last time we have solved uh, three problems already, sample problems for our derivative of trigonometric functions. So today we are going to continue another one, another problem. Uh, we have here example number four. So we're given uh, uh, g sub x equal to sine of the square root of 3x plus 5. Okay, so to solve this problem, so here's our solution. First, we have to transform this into a, an exponential uh, power no, for this uh, radicand. Okay, so rewriting this, so we have g prime of x, uh, sorry, g of x equal to uh, sine of the square root of 3x plus 5 so we can rewrite this class as sine of 3x plus 5 raised to a power 1 half right and then uh, using the formula so what formula shall we use for this we have derivative of we have derivative of sine uh, derivative of sine u uh, derivative of sine u with respect to x this is equal to cosine u times the derivative of u with respect to x All right and we also have to use the power rule right we have uh, derivative of u to the n is equal to n times u to the n minus 1 times the derivative of u with respect to x okay so applying these uh, formulas so we have g prime of x g prime of x is equal to so derivative of sine is using this formula we have cosine uh, by the way what is our u so here so this is our u all right this is our u okay so using this formula okay so this is our u but if you use this formula oh, we, we have the same u all right so g prime of x is equal to okay i will write it here so g prime of x is equal to so derivative of cos sine is cosine cosine u or u you just write the same the same given u so 3x plus 5 raised to power 1 half times or oh, derivative of u right so derivative of u or u is 3x plus 5 raised to power 1 half then so, uh, with respect to x okay so uh, g prime of x is equal to just rewrite it cosine of 3x plus 5 raised to the power 1 half times so this time class we are going to apply the power rule so applying this for this part here so we have from the power rule so the power will go down so the power is one half times u so our u is this one 
So times 3x plus 5 to the power n minus 1. So our n is 1 half. So 1 half minus 1. Then times, so derivative of u. So it means derivative of, so our u is this one. Okay. So derivative of 3x plus 5 with respect to x. Alright. So therefore, okay, again, uh, rewrite this. Uh, we can write this 1 half first here. So we have 1 half. And cosine of 3x plus 5 raised to power 1 half and times 3x plus 5 raised to power negative 1 half so negative because 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half times so derivative of 3x plus 5 so derivative of 3x is 3 derivative of 5 5 is a constant so that is 0 so no need to write 0 here okay so multiplying 3 with the whole thing here so we have uh, 3 over 2 cosine of 3x plus 5 raised to power 1 half then times So this one, uh, the exponent is negative, so we will apply the law of exponent x to the minus m. This is the same as 1 over x to the positive m. Okay, so we'll use this concept. Alright, so we can rewrite this one as 1 over 3x plus 5 raised to a power so the power now becomes positive okay so rewriting so we have uh, we can rewrite this as 3 cosine of 3x plus 5 raised to a power 1 half divided by so denominator denominator so 2 times uh, 3x plus 5 raised to a power 1 half and therefore we have uh, 3 okay so you can rewrite this as cosine of 3x plus 5 so this would be square root all right divided by 2 times the square root of 3x plus 5 all right so this is our final answer so uh, g prime of x okay any question so be careful class eh? you are not allowed to divide 3x plus 5 and the square root of 3x plus 5 and the square root of 3x plus 5 here why because uh, this is considered as one no? cosine of this one but this one is only this so it means that the numerator we have cosine of the square root of 3x plus 5 here is only square root of 3x plus 5 so you you cannot divide this so that's wrong okay so that's it and for your practice try to solve this example number five so for example number five try to solve this and then uh, you may check the answer now in our next video so example number five is something like this k sub x is equal to the square root of sine of 4x plus 
five. Okay, and then try to check the next video to see the answer for this uh, example number five. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Stay safe and healthy always. God bless. Bye.